Every week we, we would sell out. They kept pushing us to make more and more and spiraled out of control and here we are. When you think of the butcher shop, you think pork chops and T-bones. Not at all a place for vegetarians. No. But that is about to change with a first in the nation shop opening at the Herbivorous Butcher. Unlike other butcher shops, this is all vegan. I'm Kale Walsh, uh, owner of the Herbivorous Butcher, a vegan butcher shop, first in the country and the finest in the world, located in the heart of Minneapolis, Minnesota. When people hear vegan butcher shop, it's obviously an oxymoron. It'll piss them off or they'll be really excited about it, but either way, they tell someone. So here at the Herbivorous Butcher, as you can see the meat case behind me, we've got everything from, you know, porterhouse steak to Italian sausage, all handcrafted by the butchers in the back. And each recipe is, very different from the next with different processes, different cooking methods that get different textures and flavors. I'd say my favorite thing to eat here still is uh, probably the Korean rib. It's our most popular product and it was one I made by accident. Me and my sister Aubrey always had an inkling that we might be in business together someday. One day she was kind of making jokes. She said, you know, what if we opened a vegan butcher shop? Because we were both making vegan meats and cheeses for ourselves. because the stuff on the market is not as good as it should be. I just saved up all my tips. Aubrey saved up what money she had. Got a farmer's market stand and spiraled out of control and here we are. When people uh, think our food's real meat, it makes me feel good about pulling one over on them. Once we started the farmer's market, it was really knowing that we were providing an option for people and families so families could have those traditional meals together still. Every week we, we would sell out, you know, thanks to our regular customers uh, that still come here today and they kept pushing us to make more and more and we could only do so much out of the community kitchen we were at. We did a Kickstarter and a man approached us that wanted to make our dream come true of opening up a vegan butcher shop. So between the Kickstarter and this kind gentleman, we got here today. Social media has kind of been integral to our existence. People started to take notice that Vegan Butcher Shop is possible. Yeah, we've been lucky to get in touch with a lot of celebrities. Most recently, we had uh, Portia De La Rossi, who was on Arrested Development, and Ellen DeGeneres' wife. We got to meet Sir Paul McCartney. Oh man, a lot of people, a lot of people hate this stuff, but they never tried it, that's the thing, they never tried it. The National Pork Council wrote a big article on us. These people should be ashamed trying to take my meat away, and you know, we ain't taking your pork away, we're just out here making some food. We get emails from like Zimbabwe asking if we can franchise. When we first started the farmer's market, it was it was just me, my sister, and her husband just going hard in that kitchen after our nine to five jobs. And since then, it is nothing like I, I remember. But still, the recipes are the same. Still, the cooking is the same. But now there's 27 people that work here. That's just, that's just a whole different experience. It's part of small business, like kind of letting go of your, your baby, letting go of control a little bit. If I could look back at those days, I'd just slap myself and be like, just keep going, man. It all changes real quick.